welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the psychic medium and channel hypnotist and healer. We are going to get started with the show. You will be receiving uh, 60 minutes approximately of what I like to loosely call entertainment. But fun will be had by all. Maybe you'll laugh, maybe you'll cry. Maybe you'll do both. I don't know. I, I certainly do laugh and cry and yeah, here we go. So the first thing, please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you. I will never tell you you need this, that or the other. So if somebody is reaching out to you saying they are me, it is not. And the, another way you will know it's not me. I only do readings over the phone. So you're talking to me one on one with me, or I do readings um, in person. Do you ever have your brain just pause for a moment? Like it went off in another direction while you're still trying to finish a sentence all day long. It's going on all day long, folks, right here all day long. Okay. I'm just checking a few things. Everything looks good. We're going to get started. I will be taking callers and answering questions. Um, if you are calling in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I will try to repeat that during the show, but just in case I don't, it should be in the title or someplace. Um, if you do not get through today, please know I do offer private readings also. So if there's something very important or you have a lot of questions, please know you can contact me and I'll be happy to do a private session with you. You can post a question in the chat. Again, I will be going from the top to the bottom, taking care of people whoever called in first. Now people have been waiting 15 minutes or longer on the call line for a question. Please have one question available, an exact question that helps me get not only into your energy, but that area of your energy. Or if you'd like to connect with a loved one up above, I'm happy to do that. I need their first name and their relationship with you. Um, I am hearing a few songs. We're gonna go over songs, we're gonna do names, we're going to do it quickly, and then we're going to get right into the show. The first song, I have been hearing this all morning long. Um, and of course, right at this moment, it just, oh, here it is. Wanna be a baller, shot caller, 20 inch rims on the Impala something about get something tonight um the highway something something what is that i don't know that that if somebody in the chat if somebody on youtube knows the name of that song please put it in for me um maybe it's i want to be a bala <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um the next song is um the next song is uh, yeah, Yvette, me too. Me too. I haven't heard it in such a long, I woke up to it. It was playing all morning long. Uh, I don't think it's Smash Mouth. It's a rap song. Okay. I'm going to go to the next song, which is Purple Rain. Going, the next one is, um, I don't know if this is a song or if it's a Piccadilly, if it's just something you should know. If, if Piccadilly is yours, you're going to know it's yours and who it's from. The next, I'm just not even going to say songs. If it's a song, it's a song. If it's a confirmation, it's a confirmation. The next thing I'm getting is, oh, I guess I'm doing names too, Sasha. <laughs> We're just, but we, we've just lumped it all together, folks. So if you hear a name, it could be your name, your loved one's name. The song could be the answer to a question, a song your loved one loved, you loved, you listened to it together. 
Um, I think I covered all that. So let's go. Here we go. Um, the next one I'm hearing, the next thing I'm hearing is James Brown. I cannot even try to pull that off. James Brown. I don't even know any other words to that. That if you know, you know. And that's another thing I'm going to say, you guys. If I sing like a snippet of it, even if the words are wrong, if it's yours, you're immediately going to start, you're going to have that confirmation within you. The next thing is, um, oh my God, I'm on top of the world looking down at creation and the only If you guys think these songs, I'm, I, there's no way, <laughs> I don't even know how I know this many words to that song. Um, they want me to keep going. Why? <laughs> I'm on top of the world looking down at creation and the only explanation I can find is, and then they stop it there. That's it. Done. Done. Done with that song. <laughs> okay, the next. <laughs> uh, and, and I didn't even think that was going to be the song, but they were showing me this mountain top that looks like Mount Fuji. So if Mount Fuji um, is 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 relevant to you, Mount Fuji. The next uh, thing is Carl. The next thing is, I hear Proctor. The next thing is George. The next, uh, I guess we're on names. Name is Priscilla. The next one is Mackenzie. The next one is Louis, and the next one is J Jahavi. Anything else? Any other confirmations or names you guys want to bring? St. Louis. Um, any what get you guys? Anything else? Mm. Nope, that's it. We're going to start the show. I'm going to go back and forth between questions and calls. I'm going to start with a call as I always do. And then we're going to go over to questions back and forth for uh, approximately 60 minutes. Again, if you would like to call in 845-277-9131. If you'd like to book a private session, all that information is in the bio, or you can go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Here we go. The first caller is 708. 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Chatty from Illinois. Hi. How can Hi. I? How can I, wanna, I? Yeah, go ahead. I, want, I wanted to know if you can connect with my niece, Courtney. Yeah. How, how old was your niece when she passed, love? 36. 36, thank you. Okay, she keeps, some for some reason, she keeps going back to when she was four or five. She's showing me, like, somebody who's not quite a toddler, but at that age of four or five. And I don't know why she's showing me that. Um, just it's, it's, she's saying it's relevant. I don't know why. Um, again, I get what I get. I don't always get everything I want, but we're going to do our best here. Did you have a specific question for your niece, Courtney? Um, yes, she, she went through, um, uh, an addiction problem as well. And I, always felt bad that I couldn't help her more. Um, 
And she spent a lot of time with me when she was growing up. Um, and she was like really best friends with my son growing up. That's who we grew up, we grew up with. So. Okay. Thank you. Maybe that's much. Thank you so much for that. I'm really grateful for that. Um, so the whole age four or five, that could be something that happened then that has, that was part of, of what started this. Um, she had some serious, I'm, I'm just hearing this, how now somebody can say this, how it presents might look completely different than we would expect. But she had some abandonment issues and she was terrified. Whew. She was just terrified of um, like being alone is what I'm hearing. She never wanted to be alone. Um, I don't know why this is important for her to say, but the other thing that she would want to say to you is thank you, first and foremost, thank you. Um, and she is, she is taking now, 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 she, and she's making sure she says now, now she's taking the high road um, in or take the high road, whatever that means for you. One of the things that she really is stressing is something that happened to her when she was four or five years old that kind of put everything into motion for her. Um, but she has no, no, she doesn't feel badly about it. She knows it's just the road that happened for her is the way she's saying it. The other thing I want to say is she knows how much everybody tried to help. And then, and right away it's like, but um, she had to be the one to do it. She was uh, uh, in that way, at least in that way, she was a bit stubborn and she really wanted to, to be stronger in her weakness. But she, during those times, she really just couldn't. She is really grateful for everything that came about and how it came about. And again, she's showing me the vision of somebody, a, a little girl that is four or five years old. Is that you? Yeah. I feel like that's her. I, I really do feel like that's her um, because she just keeps showing it to me. So I really, and she's saying she's with you and Every once, I don't know if this is going to make sense to you, if this has already happened or if it's something that's going to happen. There's an, I, I can't even, I don't even know what this is, but that ashy, like A-S-H-Y, ashy smell is her. The closest thing I could say is like during bonfires, maybe there's an ashy, I don't know what an ashy smell is, but you will, if you don't already, you will. Um, and maybe it is referring to bonfire smell. I don't know. She's not saying the smoke. She's saying the ashy smell is her. And she's at peace. And don't, don't, um, don't worry about her. She is good. She's at peace. Okay, love? Okay, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for calling in today. I'm really grateful and I truly do hope that that was helpful for you. I'm going to go to the first question on the chat is, um, wow, I can't, I can't see it. I hope I can see it if I put it here. Will our comeback to me to try to work things out. And this is from AP. Well, our come back to try to work things out. 
I'm going to say this, AP, I normally wouldn't say this on air. Was there, AP, I'm going to scroll all the way down. I, if you're, I need you to tell me, was there infidelity? Was somebody creeping? Um, I, I'm going to say this to you. Um, I just keep hearing infidelity, infidelity, infidelity. Maybe somebody was just super suspicious of infidelity, but typically people aren't suspicious. You know, we're not paranoid, crazy people walking around. If, if we're thinking that there's typically a good reason. Okay, we met on a dating site, so possibly he is dating other people, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to tell you honestly what I'm hearing. Please don't be too upset by this. This guy is a one-hit wonder. Or, yeah, guy, you said he. He's a one-hit wonder. Um, and what they mean by that is, and then I hear hit it and quit it. So based on that, I'm just going to say this is a person who might like to get involved with somebody, get what they want or not, and then move on. Um, this person is not, is not ready, willing, or wanting to be in something serious. I don't care what they said because we see the action. Somebody who really wants to be in a serious relationship is their actions will show that and they're working out everything and putting the effort into this one person. This person is not that person, unfortunately. Or fortunately, better to learn now than later. So just if I can be so honest and hopefully this is helpful for you, um, just go forward um, and allow yourself to move on and be with someone who wants more of what you want. Okay, that's going to be the best thing that you can do for yourself. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 860-860. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm from Connecticut. My name is Lisa and thank you so much. I, I'd like to know what my guides have a message for me currently in my life. Do you have a specific area that you would like a message for? Whatever they say is fine. Okay, this is my, I'm going to be honest on the show. This is my least favorite thing. I kind of ask people to have a specific oh, okay. thing, but that's okay. Um, for everybody else calling in and everything, have a specific area or a specific question. The number one thing, I'm sorry, what's your name again, love? Lisa. Lisa. Okay. Sorry. That's okay, Lisa. Um what, the number one thing they're saying to you, it's time to, um, they're singing that song like, or they're giving me the song, Get Up, Stand Up. Um, I feel like it's time for you to show up in your, okay, show up in your life in a new way. Show up in your life that allows you to be more present, that allows you to be more in touch with everything around you. Um, I, I don't feel like you're masking something, but I feel like you're staying at a safe distance, at least in one area of your life. You're not, you're not show, you're, uh, how do I say this? You're not like being as involved as you could be in something that's going on. Um, but I, I hope, I really, really hope that that's helpful for you. I hope that you, you, you uh, understand that message. 
And I, I do. Thank you so very much. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm grateful that you understand it. Sometimes when I'm shooting in the dark, I, I kind, I'm kind of nervous of, oh my gosh, I hope this makes sense to the person. I'm really grateful it does make sense to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you. You are so welcome, Lisa. Have an amazing day. And please call back anytime with any questions. I'm happy to answer them. If you would like to call in, please call in the call-in number 8 four five two seven seven nine one three one that is where i am taking calls from um so please only use that number thank you so much i'm gonna go here for some reason today my eyes are not uh, my eyes are not doing um everything seems just a little bit blurry so it's a little difficult. Um, in my dreams this evening, a certain spiritual guru, thank you. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know what's going on with my eyes right now, came in and I asked her questions. This is why everybody should just call in, like reading this. Everybody else has already read it. <laughs> okay. In my dreams this evening, a certain guru came in and I asked her some questions. Uh, I think it's the bright light above me that's like really blurring this out. I want to know if... I really met her, yes. And our, uh, if just my, so we got, no, you did. Um, okay, so here's the thing. I love this question, Ani. Thank you. And I'm sorry, I had, I'm, I'm, my, I, I'm having difficulty reading the questions, you guys. Um, here's the thing. When we are sleeping, our physical body is resting where our spirit or soul is healing, working, uh, searching, uh, doing whatever it is we can't do, maybe I'm going to say on, on a conscious level. So when we are sleeping, um, our spirit is out, like just exploring, we could say time traveling, we could say um going to other dimensions however we want to say this and yes when we have dreams where we meet especially when we meet a guru we have called that in and anybody can can call that in and when the time is right you will meet that teacher guru um high ascended ones whatever it is and you will get your answers um, make sure your answers are pure. Um, and we can also go, a lot of people are not familiar with this. In our sleep time, we can go to places where we can be healed of things like that if we so choose and we can believe that. So we have to have the knowing that that's possible and it has to be a strong knowing and then we can go there and we can like get miraculous healings um so yes that is what i'm gonna say for you and congratulations and keep doing it keep connecting you'll be pleasantly surprised with what comes next Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 929-929. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, uh, Tony, it's uh, Teresa. How are you? I'm good. I'm sorry, what's your name? This is Teresa. I normally call you at night. We did a reading before. Oh, yeah. How Teresa. can I help you, love? Hi, love. I'm going to make this quick. So, um, one thing. All right, so you told me to Harry, because you know the situation that I'm having with the landlord, and I wasn't really, I was only going in circles, okay? So tomorrow, I went, I did some, I did some additional research. 
because I didn't want to just lose, you know. So I got to go to a meeting tomorrow night pertaining to to trying to get this vacate order. Do you think they would, get, like, I would get in the meeting, do you think they're going to issue, well, would it be a good idea? I know it's a good idea to go there, but do you think they would be able to issue the vacate order or would I have to wait for the second meeting on October 1st? So there's a meeting happening tomorrow night. I went to the headquarters and they told me to go to this meeting that's tomorrow night on September 19th. And then there's a second meeting on October 1st, because I know you told me to try to get out of here as soon as possible. But you didn't like what you were picking up and you didn't like what you were seeing. Okay, Teresa, I'm going to ask you a question. Is this vacate order for you to vacate? Yes. And Teresa, how long has this been going on? This has been going on ooh, since, because it's been going on for about six months now. Okay. It feels like it's been going on for longer than that. Everything all together. It's, it's been going on longer. It's yeah. been going on since last November, to be quite exact. Yeah. It feels like it's, here's what I'm going to say to you. And I know not everybody is going to, you might not love this answer, Teresa, but I'm going to say it to you. Flip the script. If I try to stay as impartial as possible during these readings, but if you were the landlord and this was your property and this was going on, behave how you would want your tenant to behave. I do feel like when you push a person too far, especially when they have to pay things and they are in a position where they are taking a loss and on top of it have to pay legal fees, even though technically you might be finding loopholes, at some point any person has the potential to break. Now I've dealt with tenants and I actually, that's part of the reason I sold my property is because I honestly just didn't want to deal with them anymore. It's a lot of work and a lot of energy and people have no idea how much time and money and love you put into something like this. They have no clue the amount of money and taxes that you pay and when you have a tenant, how you're entrusting them to do the bare minimum, pay your bills and be a respectful, decent human being. And I can't tell you the number of times that has fallen short. Thank goodness, everything on my end ended amicably. Stop, and I'm saying this from spirit, stop pushing this, Teresa. There, even if it doesn't balance out with this guy, it will balance out with someone else. There is no, I don't wanna use this word, but it's the word they're using. There is no con that doesn't get undone. There is no thing that you get away with. You might get away with it now. It might look all good now. But at a time when you don't have the resources or the whatever, it will haunt you. And I can give you a story on this. I know someone who, unfortunately, they're not so mentally healthy. Um, but they went through a lot of different places and played games and not necessarily intending to play games just because of their mental illness. They would always end up either getting evicted or trashing them, or whatever it was. And now this person cannot find a place to live. This will follow you and it will make it impossible or the next time it won't work out for you and you won't have the resources to jump to the next space. So Teresa, 
whether you like what they are saying to you or I am saying to you or anybody else is saying to you, stop this now. Get it together and just, we are going through a major eclipse this week. And this major eclipse is supposed to bring in endings and bringing new beginnings get it together before they get it together for you and treat people the way you i don't care what somebody's personality is like i don't care if you like somebody or not i don't even care if you feel like somebody owes you something it doesn't matter be a decent human being and do what's right. Now, I understand sometimes things go sideways and we work the best we can to move on. Get it together before you end up in a situation you cannot get yourself out of. And I think a spirit cannot be clearer than that with you. This is going to come back, whatever is going on here, and this is from spirit, it's going to come back and bite you in the butt when you, when you are, are just as desperate as this person you're playing with right now. And this is, you might think right now, it's not going to show up on your record sweetie they find a way so please get it together and do what's right here that's all i can say about this whole situation and please teresa i love you but next time you call please let let it be that you have moved and you're in a different place and you have a new question for me thank you so much for calling in i appreciate that um Yvette wants to know, will I be able to move into a house in October? Is Yvette going to move into a house in October? I get a yes. I get a yes. But you're going to have to really work at it. It might be near the end of October, mid to late October. Like your move-in date might be mid or, but you really need to, like, I hear that, that song, every day I'm hustling, <laughs> just that line. <laughs> And I feel like you really, really, really need to be in that space where you are on top of it. Okay, love? And I'm going to say this, Yvette. Ask your peeps, spirit team, angels to um, put it together for you. They are taskmaster masters. They love to do things for us. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 610. 610, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 610. Hey, this is Sonia. This is Tony. Hello. Hey, Sonia. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Uh, this is Sonia from where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Sonia, are you the one selling the house? Selling your property? Um, no. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. What's your question, love? <laughs> My question is that I'm currently looking for work. And I wanted to see, you know, what you're picking up. But, you know, I was laid off. And okay. um, I also decided to start a... Um, online side business that there's a small investment it seems legit but um i'm doing both basically but what are you picking up about the job and you know also the investment i have to make the small investment for the side business okay um <clears throat> okay what type of work do you do when you're working love Oh, I'm working in software, uh, software um, support, testing, Okay. working on customers, all that type of stuff. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was, okay, here's what I am going to say. If you want, to, okay, a couple, a couple different things here. 
you, um, I'm going to st start with the last thing you asked. No, don't invest. Don't invest. It's not going to turn out the way you want. It's going to be uh, good, good money. Good money after bad is a statement I'm hearing. Um, it will not be what you think it's going to be. It's not going to give you the result that they are claiming or you are hoping for. It will take a lot longer and be less than what is being stated. And it's going to take a lot more work than, than what um, it's going to take a lot more work on your end than what, like what you're thinking, like where you might, th they might say, oh, you need an hour a day and that's it. No, that's not it. Um, I do feel like, Sonia, you could start your own thing, like possibly some kind of consulting thing on the side, um, getting contracts or something for what you do. But I do feel like, and I know it's, it's very, very uh, challenging out there right now for work. Um, I also feel like I'm just being told to tell you this. If there's, there's a, if you, okay, if you wanted to start your own thing, there's, there's going to be a grant available for you to do this. Now, still look, still keep looking for a position. But I do feel like if you want to go and get a grant to help you start some sort of personal business, it will be very powerful for you. And I feel like that's what's going to be, that's what turns the corner for you, if you if that makes sense. Um, now, a lot of people get really exhausted and overwhelmed when looking for grants because it, it's just whatever. But there is a place called L-E-S-K-O-H-E-L-P-S. -E -E I get nothing for this. Lescohelps.com. And they have people that will help you find grants. Or you can just try to search grants yourself. But there are specific areas and everything and if you put everything in they'll they'll be able to help you find grants okay if you want to go that route um if you don't you can just search put in a uh, woman your ethnicity business uh grant and things will pop up it will be a little bit more difficult to to weed through them but i do feel like there is something that you could do And I also feel, sweetie, it will be something like, I just, it, there's one of two ways you could go with this. And the first way, one of the ways is to contract, not as an employee, but with the company themselves for the work. Um, that's the first way I'm seeing that. And what I'm going to say would be a good place to start. Now, if you're hungry, and I say this with however I'm saying it as I'm hearing it, if you're hungry, there are women and men that know how to get these grants, and they can start two, three businesses, and they have either people working the business or their businesses that only take part time. Okay. I would, I, I seriously would look into that because they're really coming through on that for you. And I would totally look into that if I were you, but as far as job goes, I'm going to do the first clearing of the show. We're going to clear anything stopping or blocking anyone who's looking for a job, a career, anything that's stopping or blocking that from coming to them. Let's clear that now. Pull it, release it, remove it. Um, whew, and have a job that is perfect for them to start. Now, I'm going to do it for entrepreneurs. If you're wanting to start a business that everything falls into your path and 
you find what you're looking for. Okay, Sonia, I hope that was helpful for you, love. Okay. Hello, this is Tim. Uh, oh, Tim calling from New York. Hey, Tim, how are you? I thought I was still on the phone with Sonia, but I wasn't. Okay, Tim, how can I help you? <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, great. you guys. Okay, Tim, what's up? What's going on? I'll get to the online questions next. Oh. Thank you so much. Tim, what's going on? How can I help you? Okay. Oh, sure. Um, I have to do something really hard, which is a uh, attempt to get my parents, they adopted their kids away from them for the better of everyone. Uh, I just was, uh, I guess, checking to see if Spirit had any words, advice, encouragement, or anything for me. Okay, I'm sorry, you have to do what? You have to, I'm so sorry, what sure. do you have to I, do? My parents, yeah, no problem. My parents have young kids, they adopted their old. Uh, they're having health and mental issues, so I have to try to get the kids, and it's going to be hard. I want everyone. Uh, they're not going to like it, and uh, the authorities involved. Uh, I'm asking my guides for assistance as I uh, try to make this impossible thing happen. Okay, so I so just was checking to see if Spirit had anything. I'm going to repeat this back to you, and you can say, yeah, if I'm correct. Your parents are getting old and there's some things going on with them medically and mentally and you're feeling like you may have to move them to a facility no i have to get their kids because they can't raise them oh your parents have but kids. they don't know okay yeah they adopted so they have young kids and uh you know when people are having mental issues they don't know they're having mental issues they think they're fine so uh the only way I can do this is by involving authorities, and it's going to be pretty messy. But uh, okay. I got to try to do it for the kids. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Give me a second here while I look at all the aspects of this. This is a. What's going to happen here is. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a long, drawn out and expensive process, okay? And just because they take the kids from them, it doesn't mean you're going to end up with them. This is just what I'm hearing. I don't know a lot about this, but I'm gonna tell you <clears throat> exactly what I'm hearing. Um, there will have to be he like hearings or whatever to determine where the children end up. And in the meantime, that does not mean the children will end up with you. They may end up with DCF while this is being, um, B, or CPS, whatever it's called. They might end up being in that department prior to that. So if you can do this privately with your parents, have somebody come in and talk talk with them. And I know when I I I know for a fact people don't realize they are off. I know that um, it's a very difficult thing to deal with. But if you can have a caseworker go in and they're they're you know, have a caseworker go in and do a home analysis. Um, that will be the first step. I, and if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you this is not going to turn out. This is just what I'm hearing. So please take it for what it, what it's worth. This is not going to turn out the way you think it is. Um, it takes a lot. I mean, it takes a lot to remove children from a dysfunctional home if they're not being physically or otherwise abused. So what would be the best bet, regardless of how any of us feel about it, 
is to get them a mental health checkup where they can possibly get on the right meds and act right or be appropriate or do, you know, balance them out. Um, I just feel like I just keep hearing it's not going to go the way you want it to. Once, and I do feel like this, and it's really important for me to mention this to you, once the children, and I, I don't like the way I'm going to say this, once they're up for grabs, there's going to be a lot of hands out. And it's not going to be just so simple for you to walk in, take the kids and go, you guys are off your rockers until you get back on them. I'm going to keep these kids. It's just, it's not going to happen like that. You're going to have to prove yourself in the case. So keeping a very close eye on them, helping them to get whatever care they need will probably be best for everyone involved, especially them. And just because you're the one bringing it to them and wanting the kids, they look at that kind of as motive also. And in the interim of even if you would get the kids, they wouldn't be placed with you immediately. Even if you're doing the responsible thing, they would have them and the kids would have to go through all sorts of questions too. So the best bet here is to obviously document video, get what you can, but get your parents in for as much help as you can get them in for. I. I hope that makes sense to you. And I'm sorry it's not the answer that you're looking for. Okay, yeah. Okay, Tim. Thank you so very much, I appreciate it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Thank you so much, thank you. Okay, I am going to go to the next question. Um, who is uh, Eva? Hi, Tony, thank you for your guidance, you're welcome. Do you see me getting some breakthrough in my finances? I hear yes right away. Um, I'm gonna put this question up. Um, it's not as much as you think or you want. It it just never is, right? <laughs> it just never is. However, something is going to come through that's gonna be a nice little push or a nice little bump for you. It's gonna be something that helps you like get over the hump is what I'm hearing. I hope that makes sense to you. And I do hope that it helps you. I'm going to go to the next caller who's 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. There we I'm go. sorry. Oh, wait. 312 is there. 312? 312. I'm here. Yes, okay, hello. excellent. I almost I almost like went to the next thing. What's your name, love? Where are you calling from? My name is Marquis. I'm calling from Chicago. I've spoken to you before. How are you? I'm good, Marquis. How are you? Good. Thanks for taking my call. So I wanted to get um, some insight about my, my job hunt. I've had some good interviews. I'm wondering when this cycle will close. So I don't know if that's a next set or an offer. I'm wondering what you see for that. Well, the first thing I hear is tomorrow, but please remember tomorrow doesn't always mean tomorrow. And tomorrow doesn't mean the offer is going to come in, but you might interview or find the job tomorrow or the place tomorrow. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of endings coming in for a lot of people, but there's a lot of new beginnings coming in also in general. I do feel like you need to be very open to looking outside of your comfort zone. And I think if you look outside of your comfort zone, you're going to find a better position with better pay like it's it's going to be such an upgrade. Now, whatever this means for you, comfort zone can mean a certain title, a certain type of company, or a certain area, or I must, you know, work from home versus go in or go in versus whatever the comfort zone is for you. I don't know. I'm not looking at that. Once you go outside of that comfort zone, you are going to be plopped into 
a really good position. And I keep hearing tomorrow, tomorrow. To, and in some cases, this means literally tomorrow, you're either going to get that offer or you're going to find it or get that call, whatever it is. Um, but give it through the week. It's going to be... Um, Okay, I think this is for everybody, not just you. So please don't, <laughs> don't do it. This is going to be a really interesting week. And the analogy they're giving me is if you find a feral kitten, a kitten that has been outside for the first like three months of its life and you bring it in, it's kind of a hellcat. It's like climbing up your curtains and jumping from one end of the room to the other. And you're like, oh my God, what did I do? But I can't put it back out now and I don't want to serve. For everybody, that's what this week is going to be like. <laughs> like there is something feral running amok in our lives, but, but, and however, by mid next week, we will breathe again. <laughs> so between <laughs> today okay. and the end of the week, there's going to be some ups and downs, but please, please, please um, stay as focused as you possibly can and allow yourself to move like, like um, ain't, not, ain't nothing going to stop me now. Oh no, I've got to keep a move. It, that that song is playing. Like you need to be that. Okay. That that hyper focus. Like no matter what, you wake up and like part of your roof caved in. It's not happening. That's not a prediction. You need to get on your computer and tippy tap those keys and go, that can wait. Okay, that can wait. I'm okay. I'm on my computer doing my thing. There's I feel like there might be something that presents or you see or it comes to you and you might something might come up that that is like um in the in, in the way of it or uh, how do I explain this like like oh I can't I can't send this in right I have to take care of this something that seems more important something that seems more important don't do that. You could be passing on something so good, so good. So when it comes okay. to the work front, no matter what comes forward for you right now, everything else is third, fourth, and fifth down the line. It's it, it, Even if it's like you have to be on this interview at like one in the morning, okay, I'll do it. What? And, and that's not going to be the case, but I'm just saying something so absurd that you would be like, uh, no, but just because I feel like there's something really cushy coming in that's going to be really good, but you have to, you might have to move something else or something else might come up that seems like an emergency or really important. And you have to just push that aside and keep focused on this. Okay, love? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God bless. You're so welcome. And I did a clearing for work a little earlier in the show. If you didn't get that, go back to that and listen to that until you feel nothing with it. Okay, love? Thank you again. You are Bye. so welcome, Marquise. Have an amazing rest of the week. Uh, let's see. Where are we time-wise? I can do one more of these. Uh, la, 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 la. Will uh, Sleep wants to know, will JV ever reconnect with LL? As of right now, that's a solid no. As of right now, that is a very, very solid no. And I'm going to tell you this, LL or JV or Sleep, I'm going to say this to you. Um, that is for you. Sometimes things happen for us and we don't even realize it. Um, I feel like the other person in this situation has moved on, not necessarily to another person. But let me put it this way. If they did come back, it would be not honorable. It would be for number one, like 
oh, I know this person will hype me up. I know this person will will make me feel better. Like if they came back, they would be licking their wounds or down and out or depressed or because of something else. N not because of this, because of something else. And they'd be coming back because you're like their cheerleader or their person that would make them feel better about themselves. Yeah, that ain't our job. Mm. Mm. No, you, mm -mm. I'm sorry it didn't work out there, but I'm not the person to make you feel better about that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, find somebody else. Do not be that person, even if you don't know it, and they might not show up all sad and depressed. They might call happy. Like, oh, I, I just realized. No, 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 no. Um, but I feel like they're not going to connect and they should not connect with you again. Um, I feel like it's time for you to done this deal and move on and be in a place that's really good for you. And I'm, I'm going to say this because there's only a couple there's a little bit of time left and I just want to say this and this is gonna hit so hard for some people okay if you're in a relationship and your looks your physical looks start to change for the worse in any way your weight is fluctuating, your face is changing, your hair is falling out, breaking, uh, looks just all um, dry or whatever. Um, our hair is connected to our nervous system. So when we're in an unhealthy relationship, our hair is gonna get it. Our hair is gonna get it. Um, if your looks start to change for the not the good for the worse this is not your person you're being depleted and defeated in this relationship whether you know it or not if you start to feel tired or emotionally are up and down end it as soon as you can that is not your soulmate and there's no such thing and i i hope this reaches the people it needs to reach we do not have to struggle to get peace in a relationship if we are in a relationship and in the beginning it's a struggle or a fight or a back and forth or you feel not secure or safe in that, get out. Because even if it evens out for a minute, chances are it's probably going to go back to that at some point, at some point. If somebody ever makes you feel like you have to compete with them, they're looking at other women's- 90 um, seconds. Ah, or men, or in any way, they talk about other people favorably, they're not your person and they're letting you know you're not their person when they do that please don't learn the hard way find somebody who from day one knows you are it and adores you and that's it because that's a relationship that has a future and a purpose and can work out for everyone involved Okay, you guys, I love you so very much. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. and next Monday at noon. If um, I did not get to you today, please come back then and I will be happy to answer your questions. Have an absolutely amazing day.